You look like you're having a good day. Well, I'm here to ruin it for you with the power of cringe. Now, a dad's job in this world is to embarrass you in front of your friends. That is the main goal. But the second your dad goes off mission and starts embarrassing himself, you, your family, your generation, your bloodline in front of every single person on this planet in front of millions of millions of people that is when the mission fails and you'll be bullied for the rest of your high school days the second the drug of social media views cloud likes comments shares came into people's lives it really changed everything i found this video of this dad just I'll just show you. I can't even explain this. I'm the garden eating. Shrimp Alfredo extra. I'm the garden eating. We got a pizza for some french fries for the little one. Dude. Dude. Would we like cheese? Yes. No. I win. <laughs> now, if you're wondering who's the kid in this situation, the kids are on the right. The, the father, the adult, is on the left side. The guy with, you know, a lot of hair. Now, this is called SMS, Social Media Syndrome. It is a very deadly disease and it can affect you for many, many years until you kind of flop and people forget about you. Then you kind of come back to realization of how life works and you, inshallah, hopefully you get on back on your feet again. Cheese on the other one? Say when? <laughs> Cheese on the pizza? No? Okay. I'm actually really curious to know if the mother of the child the husband of this child is in it is in it as well or not there is no chance the wife is in it as well i, I refuse to believe it all right guys enjoy your meals thanks alex yeah. Now, I really hope this whole thing was a dare dared by a friend or the wife to act this stupid in front of the camera Maybe get some views or maybe that's how his content is. But I searched up Savior, Savior Delights on TikTok. There was, there was nothing, no account showed up. There's no video from this. I tried looking for his account so I can, you know, investigate it a little bit. See how it is for the context of it. You know, is he acting? Is he on a two-year dare that he's supposed to film every day? day these cringe things and takes his kids and puts them on in front of the camera and just exposes the exposes the kids to the whole world as well and honestly once these kids go in high school these videos are going to be up on the internet forever she's going to lose every school argument and maybe there's a possibility you know you tell yourself that maybe he's acting this you know childish in front of in front of the kids you be, you become your weird self for your kids you do <gasps> <laughs> that's probably gonna scare off the kids but you know what i mean you do a weird shit like mr bean in an airplane looking at the other kids creeping them out and making them laugh those kind of things but then he's not really paying attention to the kids so my guess is he's not just acting weird for the kids he's acting weird for the sms syndrome but this reminds me of a video you remember like a couple of months ago there was this girl sitting and acting like this Ooh, I think it was a TikTok NPC or something where she's her food is coming and she's like, ooh, food, food, delicious, mm, hungry. And then the food comes and then there's like a, people out there looking at her and she got a lot of hate for this for, on the internet because she was being super enthusiast, enthusiastic for her food. Now, honestly, if I was the waiter in this situation, I would give bro a reality check with a slap on his face. Shut up! Brother, you have a children and you are acting like children. Who is going to be raising these guys? I don't know how this accent comes out inside me. I guess living in the GCC for 24 years. I just like, brother, you keep your donkey personality off the camera. All of this for social media. Why are you even filming this? You know how much you're an embarrassment to your whole bloodline and your kids. Your kids are ashamed of you. Obviously, I won't say those things, but something in the line of that. But this whole thing can be as well like, oh, she's the the people are in it as well she's he's asking like ooh cheese ooh and then you know once the camera goes off all right thanks man thanks for the camera peace out that'll be even actually more embarrassing speaking of embarrassing things i am not done yet my friend and i were being goofy when this happened food is big let's get in i told you i am here to ruin your day again 
Seeing these things in pub, I actually want to see someone do this. Unfortunately, no one does this in the GCC. If they do, it is my time to shine. You think Instagram comments and TikTok comments are savage? I will make her delete her social media. One thing I got to respect, it takes a certain amount of courage to do this in public and not be embarrassed or ashamed of yourself. Like your ancestors are watching you from heaven or hell. Doesn't matter where they are. They are looking at you with an embarrassment to the whole bloodline. I will literally go uh, say you never seen food in your life. I will go with my phone to their face and be like, I want to make content out of you. Uh, name it a compilation of cringe people eating food. I will literally go to her account, go in front of her and read every single hate comment that she's receiving to her face while looking her eye to eye. Give her a whole reality check until she leaves the place and you know, people will start clapping and I'll be the hero of the restaurant saying, Thank you. I did it for you. Just like a real hero does. But this is how the guy reacted in the restaurant. You guys, I am obsessed. Literally yummy in my tummy. Can you stop? It's not. We're trying to eat. Now, all jokes aside, obviously, these things are just act. They're just normal people. They like to make cringe content. I don't know, some simp... There's so many characters on the internet where people do different type of shit. This is cringe to us normal people, but to some weirdos, it is a completely normal. Mmm, cross-eye, delicious! This is the type of people uh, some people actually enjoy, but honestly, if you just stick with... You can make any content out there. Go make OnlyFans, and we will not judge you. Doing OnlyFans is less shameful than this. I don't know, man. Just some people like this doing uwu cringe shit on the internet just triggers something inside me. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk more about it. I think I talked a lot about this whole topic and i'm probably gonna get demonetized for this video for harassment <laughs> youtube it was all jokes i swear to god i was kidding the whole time so what did we learn from this video if you decide to do some ooh, ooh, ooh food cringe video stuff like this on the internet i will look for you i will find you and i will make a youtube video about you but anyways that was it for today's video take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one